All right, we got here a Surface Pro. This one was here a little while ago, and we put in a replacement trackpad. Oh, sorry, keyboard and trackpad. The other one was faulty, not being detected. Uh, and then we put in a replacement, and everything's fine. Now the user had it for some time and did a Windows update, and update crashed, and apparently tried to roll back, and it also failed. So they googled for a solution, found some YouTube videos and they came across, funny enough, one of my videos and attempted to and attempted to attempt repairs themselves using the video I published earlier uh, about these surfaces with startup problems and they ran into a bigger problem and so yeah, it's back here for a different problem Recovery. There are no more BitLocker recovery options on your PC. So I haven't turned it on yet. It's first time. You'll need to use recovery tools. If you don't have, I mean, we can make a recovery USB, not a problem. Press the Windows key for UEFI firmware settings. So what's going on with this unit? What's happened to it? So user said Windows update went through and they were doing it on a battery and when doing it on the battery they left it running came back it's off turn it back on try to roll back the updates or undo the updates and obviously it didn't happen okay so our goal today is to get this computer up and running let's see if we can do it press the windows key okay and nothing Okay, um, we can go back and look at one of my videos and how I fixed this. I can't remember how I fixed this, but I haven't seen this message before. This is different, so let's have a look. Let's turn off the unit. Okay, we're going to do volume up and power, so volume up and power. I want to go into UEFI options if I can. Okay, here we go. TPM that needs to be on. Secure boot, I'm going to turn that off because I'm going to boot from a USB to identify what's going on. Hmm. Okay, this is important. Uh, I'm going to boot from a USB, and second option will be SSD. I'll take a photo of the serial number because we can use that to download a uh, recovery image or disk from Microsoft website. But I'm not sure if the user data is still there or not. So what we're going to do, just before we exit, we'll get a USB. And this one will be UEFI. I'm going to use Macrium. Macrium is free to download. So I'm going to try Macrium and exit setup, save configuration. You can watch other video of mine where there is a where I make a where I show you how to make this USB. Now the purpose of this USB is just to see if the files are there. We can use Windows 10 recovery USB as well. So I'll just do it out too. Hmm, got Windows 10 1909 and Windows 10 20 HZ, that's the latest one. Okay, so let's have a look what's happening here. So user mentioned maybe they had run out of space. Now here is a problem. Hmm. It's, it's locked. Bummer. So this free space is not accurate. It's just we don't have access to the file system. Hence we're getting this. This I find usually a problem. Unformatted primary. Uh, unformatted. No, okay. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a trauma here. Hmm. Let's see if the files are readable. No. 
So there's a bit locker on the drive. Okay. C drive. If I was to go into it. No, we can't. Okay. So just to confirm our findings, we're gonna eject the USB and we're gonna boot from Windows 10 1909 USB. So we turn the computer off. Turn it back on. Should boot from the USB again automatically. And if I remember in Windows 10, you can hold volume down and power to boot from a USB that is allowed access by secure boot. If not, you'll need to disable secure boot. And only UEFI options it will work. In the time being, try and get the user to give me or log into their Microsoft account and bring the recovery key. Okay, so Shift F10 to bring the command line. Shift F10. No. Okay, it's not working. Troubleshoot command. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. So this is the issue. We can format the drive, but that will destroy all their data. So we can't really do anything if we want to recover data. We need to wait for the recovery key. So I'll continue the video shortly. Okay, so the, the surface, no encryption key available. So in that case, we're going to wipe the hard drive. Okay, uh, this part. Okay. Number three is done. Number four, number five, number six. Now, you only want to do this if you want to delete the data, okay? Don't go crazy doing what I'm doing, thinking your data will be safe. I don't ask stupid questions saying, will my data be safe with this option, please. Okay, so we're going to boot to the USB, Windows 10. Red means uh, secure boot is disabled. Okay, 
So we can now go Australia, English, come back. This is the latest version of Windows 10. 2.0 HZ or HR. One after 2004. As you can see, it's clean, ready to go. Yeah, that's about it for this video. And then after this, we'll go ahead and we'll do all the drivers, essential applications, and um, see if there's any firmware updates, etc. And then we'll be good to go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.